are you, everyone? Cool. What a blinking mess it is out there. Hey. <laughs> Fuel not getting to petrol garages. Queues. Civil unrest. Food shortages. It's all getting a bit crazy out there, isn't it? But I think the best thing to do is make cider. Let's go. Now today is the beginning of our cider making. This is stage one. I've got to build a table to mount the um, apple scratter and the cider press on. This is some old pallet wood and we're going to turn this into a nice cider making table. We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. <laughs> rustic look to make it look as if it was very old anyway and I'll say goodbye to my liver now it's been nice working with you It's time for cider making. Oh yes, I've been waiting for this. I decided to put a set of drawers on there because I wasn't happy with it and then we needed the set of drawers so I can keep my um, homebrew, homebrew equipment in there. So yeah, you can just see I've got like a corker and I've got all the, the yeasts and all that in there. So we've collect a few apples up and we'll get this started. We've already had a little go here, but yeah, we'll get it started and we'll get pressing and I'll show you all how it works. Now I must admit it's been a bloody fantastic year for apples. Our garden is, has got plenty in. This variety is um, called a russet. I think the actual particular russet variety is a leather jacket russet. So we're going to put quite a few of these in. These have got a nice flavour and they can be sweet. But also, let's follow me over here. We've got this apple tree here, and for the life of me, I don't know what apple it is, but it is super, super sweet. Whew. To me, that's off the scale. The russets are not as sweet as these, so we're going to put a lot of these in as well. I'm going to throw that to the chickens. Wait! Hopefully that ain't hit a chicken on the head. <laughs> Check these hornets out. Oh, they're big. They're like the American ones. What the hell? Oh! Oh, there he runs, look at him run! <laughs> I must admit, 
they're like they're well over an inch long they're like about an inch and a half nearly two inches <laughs> Ooh. I'm, I'm not normally like this but these these ones i think if they sting you i think you'll be in a bad way <laughs> now this contraption is called um a scratter which you can see it's got some very nasty finger-like things in there don't want to be getting your hand stuck in there and actually I got my head stuck in there and I killed myself last week but that was purely for tax reasons so we must be careful with that eh? right we found that it works better if we half the apples or that and then we make sure that we have the bucket underneath. Look, watch that scrat. And then we come underneath. Look at that. We have the bucket to collect that in there. Once we've got our buckets full, we're going to put it in there, all the scratted apples, and press them. So nice. It's like proper apple nectar. Managed to get five of these jars, five gallons in all. First of all, I am boiling it up just to sort of sterilise it and kill any bacteria. Then we're going to add two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda to get rid of the acid because I tell you what right last time I brewed cider oh my god it, it was so acidic it like etched your teeth and then you had to have a bloody Gaveston chaser to go with it because it was that bad and it, I'll tell you it was proper gut rot you, you... so yeah I went onto the internet now I know it says calcium carbonate you, you're meant to use but it says you can use that as a substitute to sort of um because it's an alkaline bicarbonate of soda and it will regulate the acidity. Well, Oh, that was lucky. I thought it was going to go over. Once the apple juice had boiled, we poured that straight into Demijohns, let cool to room temperature, then we added the correct amount of cider yeast. So we have five gallons of cider brewing and one bottle of pure apple juice. Now I know what you're thinking, yes, I did go overkill on the apple juice. It's now time to start bottling up the cider. And um, you know I always go on about sterilisation. So yeah, washing soapy water. And then once they've drained a bit, we put these into a hot oven on 100 degrees C. Once they've been in there for 20 minutes, that is the sterilisation complete. These bottle swing tops have been 
um, washed in hot soapy water and we are going to pour boiling hot water on there. So that is sterilisation done. Let's get bottling. Now I like flat cider or like scrumpy cider but I also like my fizzy cider. So these two gallons will be turned into fizzy cider. Now these bottles are just over a pint each so I will be adding half a teaspoon of sugar per bottle to carbonate it. But before we do that we're going to quickly check the acidity because I don't know if you remember earlier on in the video I was like trying to adjust the acidity out of guesswork. Well since then I've invested in a little pH meter. So we're going to check the pH of this. It should be between 3.2 and 3.8 so that is acidic but it needs to be that acidic to help preserve the cider in the bottle to stop nasty bacteria sort of growing in there. So I've racked off a tiny little glass. Let's get this meter on. This was only £8 off of eBay. Whew, that's cheap, isn't it? Right, let's let that settle. So that's measuring four, and I said it had to be about 3.8. So it, we should be okay. Everything should be okay. That was a bloody good guess, really, weren't it? When I added the bicarbonate of soda. Now, waste not, want not. It's pretty good actually. <clears throat> Down the hatch. Now you want to leave a gap at the top of the bottle to like allow the, the fizz and all that stuff on bottles exploding. So always leave a gap. Unfortunately, I've overfilled this bottle. So we're going to have to pour some out, that's about right, that's what you're looking for, that is. Bottoms up. And I overfilled another one, didn't I? What are we on here now? Um, but batch number three we're on now. I'm just going to check the acidity of this one. No, I forgot. I've got to um, check the acidity with the meter, not by drinking it. That one, that's, that's good to go. That's the sort of um, strength, the acidity we're looking for. Now, I'm about to put my glasses on. It, things are getting a bit blurry.
think somebody's spilled something on me. It, oh, it smells funny. Now I hope that cider making adventure has brought a smile to your faces because we need we need more smiles in these silly times, don't we? Now I've got this lovely book. If you're into home brewing, making wines and beers and, and all sorts, this is a very very good book to have. It's got some lovely pictures in it, and um, it just goes through month by month of, of what sort of um, alcoholic beverages you can make. So in the next video it will be me in hospital having a liver transplant. No, no it won't, no it won't. Um, the next video is questions and answers. So in the bottom of this video please put all of your questions. They don't even have to be small holding related, they can be absolutely anything and I will answer them as truthfully, as honestly as possible. So sadly that brings us to the end of another video. So keep safe out there and um, look after yourselves. Take care. See you on the next video.